guys, welcome back to my channel, Juliet's World, and today we will be opening the band brand new baby brother to Corin and Gwen, Blinks, and I'm so excited for this because it's a little bitty, bitty baby, um, but for the dolls to hold, so let's get right into it. First doll ever was the Bitty Baby doll, B Bitty Baby doll, and um, this is just so exciting because um, I know American Girl made one of these. This is the second one, I'm pretty sure. Um, I know they made one, and it was for the kitchen. Um, for it was like a truly neat kitchen, I think. And it was when I saw that, I immediately wanted it. I never got that, but. I don't need it now because now I have one and it's even like it's even like so much more exciting because it literally goes along with Corinne's set which is like so exciting to a box. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Let's take stuff out little by little. Oh my god. This is the baby feather blix. And the carrier, okay. So I think we're we should open this just first. Um here and then maybe we'll open the accessory and then we'll open Blake's for cause like the most exciting best for last thing. Okay. So here's the carrier. It's in this like lilac color. It has a, a cute little white handle. It's kind of comfortable um, for me to hold. And right here, like inside we have the carrier pad. And it on Velcro so you can take it out. But I like it this way more because the, um, the print kind of looks like mountains. And it has a little Velcro strap to keep um, blicks inside from falling out. And I, I, I'm just like so speechless. I just like, um, it's so cute. I, because this is just so exciting. I've never, like, I've never seen something so miniature of an American Girl doll. Cause like, the Welly Wishers are smaller than American Girl, but they're not like the, si the size of like what can fit in this. So let's open the accessory. We'll open it up. It is a baby bottle. Okay, here the baby bottle is. It's got this kind of rubber handle for um, the baby. I'm guessing Blick's hands um, fit inside of it. It has a little um, American Girls like logo, their star, and it's in a lilac um, lavender kind of color again. It looks a lot lighter on um, in real life than on camera. Um, it may just be my lighting, but because um, it looks a little blue on the camera, but it's actually purple. It ties in so well with our little carrier. And I love like this touch of cyan because it matches one of my favorite parts about Corinne, her hair. I love it. So I'm going to put that right in there. It's very cute. I like this little part on the top that's kind of like a cap. Okay. And now we will open Blicks. I'm going to try to be very gentle. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Look at his little onesie. I think it's almost like a polar bear. It has little ears on the top. I don't know if you can see that. It's so soft, and I love the little touch of blue buttons. 
of the like baby blue buttons and his the little feet <laughs> i love the outfit it's so soft and so cute okay so with blix here we have the same exact eye color as gwen and corinne it is brown uh, his eyebrows are a little bit orangey like a ginger um i'm guessing that be is because um, like when you're a baby, your hair is usually lighter. For some people, that is. Some people, they just have the same hair color. Um, but it's, he's so cute. Um, and he has some, like, very light, rosy lips. Almost like, at, almost like very kind of tanny. Um, to, but it's so, oh my god, <laughs> he's just so cute. It, it's like, it feels so light in my hands. But then it's it's kind of big. I feel like it's kind of big. But then it feels so light and it feels so small in my hands. It, it's so cute. I can't. Okay, and his arms do move. I love that. Oh my god, I didn't expect them to move. I thought they weren't gonna. His legs do move too. So you make him sitting down in the carrier. Um, on the back, it's just a onesie. Nothing, no more like blue or incorporated. Only on the feet and the buttons. I love it though. It's so cute. It seems to be Velcro, so you can just open it and close it. And, oh my gosh, wait, should I take this off his head? Look at his hair. Oh my gosh. You can see the color of his hair. Oh my gosh. I love like the little swoop in the front. It's so cute. And I think I can just easily put this back on. Oh wait. Yep. Very easily to put back on. Just kind of have to pinch it a little bit in the sides. To pull it fully back up on the head so cute his ears are so small you can barely see them I'm obsessed with him I like say this about everything like that I unbox but I feel like it, it, this is this one is just really cute okay so let's try to put him in the carrier case okay so here, all I have to do is un attach the Velcro strap. Let's lay him in. I think maybe I'll move his legs a little. And his arms need to be just moved up. And, oh my gosh, he fits perfectly in. How cute is that how cute is that uh, and like you can just hold it like i love this he just fits so perfectly let's see if he can hold the bottle i'm gonna try one hand first here maybe i should take him up first or I mean, I feel like it'd be cute to see him hold the bottle while he's in the little carrier. So I'm gonna try to put that in. It's kind of hard to put on my hand. I wasn't really expecting that. Oh, I could do this, okay. It's a little big for his hand, and I'm wondering if that's, if that's because um, Corrine or Gwen is supposed to hold it, but it kind of fits if you hold, yeah. Oh my god, it fits if you hold it like that. It's a little big. Maybe I j it's a, it's supposed to go around the full hand and I just can't get it. Um, but it's so cute. You can just pretend that he's drinking milk. And I don't exactly think it opens. I'm not for sure. Um, the cap comes like this comes off a little bit but i don't want to take it off fully because then it takes off the whole thing and i might rip it 
and I would or tear it. I would not want it to do that. So here he is with his little bottle in his carrier case. So adorable. I'm obsessed with this. We should see if Corrine and Gwen, both of them, can hold it. So let's get them. We have Gwen here and Corrine. Let's get them down so we can try to see. Okay, I'm gonna put Corrine to the side first because she is sitting. And I wanna make sure that she doesn't fall. We're gonna have Gwen Chai first. So I think I should easily just slot this in my hand. Okay, so I really have to do this to be able to like have have her hold it. If I do that, I can totally whoop, fit it in her hand. I'm guessing kind of not because it is kind of slipping out of her hand. So that is not good. Um, maybe I'll try to set her up. Let me just try to set her up for one second. Just one second. Okay, so it kind of worked. There we go. The bottle definitely fits in her hand, and so does Blix. Um, he was just kind of weighing her down earlier. I think it's because um, they're not like supposedly have like they're not supposed to have like stuff on their arms. Um, maybe like little bags and stuff, but usually they're light. And this is kind of heavy be when um, the doll is inside. So let's try with Corrine this time. Maybe it'll work out better. I'll put Gwen to the side. Let's try Corrine. I'm hoping that it'll work out better. Um, or I hope that it would, would just work at all. Um, just for like a second. Um, because... Corrine is a bigger doll than um, Gwen because Gwen is the size of a Willy Wisher. She basically is a Willy Wisher, but, you know, she's an American Girl doll, too, so she's, like, not a part of the group, but she, so it makes her more of an American Girl doll? I don't know, really. What do you guys think? More Willy Wisher, like, than Black Bear in the car, or do you think they're more like an American Girl? I think they're just kind of like both because American Girl makes Willy Wisher, so. Okay. It's seeming like a no so far. Oh, I could try putting it in her hand. See, like, this is making her fall down. Yeah. It's kind of. It's kind of like he just. He just won't try to, he just, like, weighs it down and it won't, like, fit in. But if I put it on her arm, I got this just a minute ago. Perfect. Not so perfect. Okay. I'm going to try on a higher base maybe if her arms like all the way moved up yeah no he's just fallen um maybe i could just like hold her arm while i play with her i could probably just be like holding down at her arm here so it wouldn't fall off and i could go like this um so the carrier wouldn't fall off but let's see if the baby bottle fits in her hand i think it's gonna fit perfectly It does fit perfectly. She literally, it's kind of a, like, she literally has kind of a tight squeeze to get inside there because of, um, like, the hand size um, difference between the Welly -wish, well Wisher and um, this little bitty baby. So it's kind of like a little snug, but um, it's actually better so it won't fall off. But... Blix was, is really cute. It was kind of hard to get him to, you know, like, stay close to um, Gwen and Corrine because I always have them, like, next to each other when they're displayed. 
So I think I'll just put him on the floor of one of my rooms um, next to Gwen um, and Corinne. And then maybe it'll help better. But for just today, like, like just while I'm boxing this, um, I think I figured out some way to help, like, help it stay on there. Um, raising my arm up a bit. And also, I could just put my hand on the bottom so he wouldn't slide off. But he is so cute. I'm literally obsessed with him. Like, you cannot tell me his face is not super cute. He's adorable. Um, oh, sorry, Gwen. Um, and I, I just love him so much. I love seeing how big her family is. Um, and how, like, they travel, like, like, what they do, like, not travel, like, how you can travel through the story, like, um, where they are, or what they're doing, or what places they're at, and I just love that. So, today, I have been very happy, because I get, I got to saw, see this cute, adorable face. And I just, I just love him so much. I hope you guys love him too. If you do, you can put um, in the comment section, hashtag Blix. It is spelled B-L-I-X. Because um, I know some people, they spell stuff like that, like Bliss with an S. But it's Blix um, with an X. So I hope you guys like that. It's very cute. Um, we will have our little session right now. Our session as in our little like countdown for you guys to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. If you're new here. And also if you haven't liked yet or you haven't done certain one of those things. Maybe you subscribe and you haven't turned on your post notifications. Um, but here's our challenge today. I think our challenge today is going to be for you to, hmm, this is kind of, kind of hard. Okay, I think I know. So you're going to, so whatever you're using, put it like on the floor in front of you. And you're going to touch your toes. You're going to touch your toes just like this. And then you're going to press the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't ever miss out on any of my videos. And it's going to be five seconds, so let's see if you can do it. Okay. One, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? I hope you got it. And if you did, congratulations. Give yourself a little round of applause. And I hope you guys love this video. I'll see you next time.